Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since I've posted, but I've been pretty busy lately with the uh, university exams and a lot of projects on the side. And uh, also this one was quite a big video. I had to make the whole model myself and it took quite some time. So yeah, but let's get straight to the point. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you a few tricks on how you can uh, create beautiful lighting for your exterior scenes and uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you tips and tricks for the interior light settings so uh, I hope this uh, is helpful for you and uh, let me know in the comments what you think so I started by modeling the house first things first and then I imported it into a reel and uh, you can see that I set all the materials to white so I can work with a blank canvas and they were also quite messed up from the import, I don't know why that was. But one of the most important things uh, when you want a great uh, looking scene is to have a, a pretty good base model. So uh, your model of whatever you're uh, rendering needs to be very high quality in order for the scene to look pretty good. I also had some problems with the import. I don't know why some of the skylights weren't imported, but uh, it's great that in Unreal you can uh, adjust many things, you can uh, duplicate parts and basically create some models that you need in, in, right inside of Unreal, so that was pretty helpful for me. The next most important thing is to have uh, great materials set onto your model, so they need to be very detailed and accurate to real life. You can see that I started creating some uh, metal materials for the windows and window sills and some for the interiors. For the glass, you may notice that the uh, reflections are a bit blurry of the clouds and skies. And one uh, thing that you can do is go uh, into the skylight settings and change the cube map resolution to more than 128, that's default. So in my case, I wrote uh, 512 and that will give you a better reflection. Now you may notice that the glass reflections are a bit uh, nasty. That's because I'm not using ray tracing translucency because watch what happens when I turn it on. Because I'm using 5.4, they got rid of the ray tracing uh, reflection settings. I mean, ray tracing overall. And now you can see that if I go here, uh, the light cannot pass through the glass. So I can't see the sky in the reflection or anything else. It's just one bounce and that's it. And I don't really like that. So. I don't know what they're gonna do about this, uh, if they're gonna fix it, add it in 5.5 or something, because um, they were pretty good and now it's kind of unusable. That's why I decided to go for raster translucency and also use a bit of screen space reflections because uh, it looks nicer in some cases than uh, Lumen. After I finished uh, setting up all the materials, I went in the landscape mode and added the landscape to my scene and started sculpting it to look like some sort of cliffs in uh, a Nordic environment. After finishing sculpting and uh, doing like a base, I downloaded uh, some Megascans models for the cliffs and the ground and I started placing them around but I can't show that to you because um, I couldn't film it. My PC was gonna blow up if I did that. I tried to make it as natural as I could and uh, I was also pretty pressed by the time, so I had to make it fast. So it will not come out as the best, probably, but I think it's pretty good for just a tutorial. You can see that uh, I placed the cliffs and uh, a water plane that is just a plane with a material on it. And I also scattered some grass around, ignore the weird shadows, it's the nanite glitch. And I forgot to add the console command but I think it's looking pretty good. So let me know your thoughts down below. So you're probably here for this part, the lighting part. Now I never use HDRIs for my scenes. I usually just use the standard Unreal uh, lighting system. And I think that uh, gives us a pretty good result. I usually just import them and leave them at default. The only thing that I change is the volumetric clouds because the ones that come by default are quite uh, nasty. And uh, I like to be able to 
move them around and um, sort of art direct my scene. So that's why I change it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video about that. Now, one of the things that I always do is enable cloud shadows on uh, on my scene. It also makes it look more realistic and uh, it gives us uh, a nice result. And by doing that and adjusting the clouds properly, you can also make beautiful overcast lighting. That's pretty easy to make. Now you can enable cloud shadows if you go into the directional light and go into the details panel and just scroll down until you see this part. Cast cloud shadows. Make sure you have this uh, to true. You can see that it also changes the sky, but it also gives us shadows on the ground. And now if I go into the volumetric cloud and open the material, um, you can uh, adjust this in order to change the look of your skies. So for example, I'm gonna pump up the density and you're gonna see that they become more dense. And here you can see how I adjust it to become an overcast lighting or just a covered sky. And it, I think it's, it looks pretty good. They're looking a bit stylistic, but you can play around with the settings more and make it more detailed. But you can see how if I adjust the density, it's gonna affect the scene very nicely. If the density is high, the scene will be dark. And if I turn it down a bit, uh, it will become uh, more light. And this is it, the final render. I also had some problems with the exposure when I imported this clip into DaVinci and that was because the gamma was set too low. I don't know why. So I had to bump up the gamma in the video and that fixed it. I did a little bit of uh, post-production with the help of the Dehancer plugin for DaVinci. If you're interested in that, make sure to watch my review on it. And if you're looking to buy it, just know that I have an affiliate code that will give you a 10% discount. And here's a little preview of what you can expect in the next video, so stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for uh, watching and let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.